Hey guys, it's Michelle here from Seaweed Kisses, and as promised, I will be sharing with you my updated passport size traveler's notebook. Um, first off though, I just wanted to share this awesome little brass hand clip that one of my Instagram friends sent me. Momo, if you follow her, you probably already have seen this on her feed. She um, uses this to like hold open her pages and she was so kind to send this to me. So you guys, this is like my new favorite stationary um, obsession. I love this. But all right, so on with the setup. I am not using this passport size as a wallet like you may have seen in my last video that I will most likely um, revert back to when you know I'm traveling but this you guys I this is going to be what has been more of my habit tracker well my creative habit tracker my um, project holder I am such a procrastinator at heart and if I don't write out all of my plans and details, I tend to kind of just get off the track. Just being honest, I'm <laughs> easily distracted. But I left this passport in here to just show you, because a few of you have asked, is it exactly like the size of a passport? Will it fit a passport? And the answer is yes and yes. So this is my passport here, just to show you. It is, um, you know, pretty much the same size, slightly smaller, but it can fit in your passport size. So as you just saw, I had it kind of tucked inside just like that. Um, but for those that have always been wondering, why do they call it the passport size? Is it really a passport size? And as you could see, it pretty much is true to that size. So moving on with this setup, um, right here, if you guys know me and my videos and my process, I'm a big, big, big believer in positive affirmations and quotes. Um, and of course, you know, I need these to keep me motivated and staying on my path and my grind, my creative, um, journey. This is kind of like my good luck fortune that I always carry around with me, whether it's in my wallet or my notebook. So I just switched that back into here. Some, again, some quotes. This is my little grocery list that I added. Um, I was, I did have this in my, if you guys watch my pocket moleskin journal, I had it in here, but somehow I just winded up in here because I was, I think just, in deep thought with my projects. I harp and scribbled some things that I knew I needed. And this is just stuck on here on this craft, the uh, Traveler's Notebook craft folder. In the folder again, do you guys do this too? Do you keep like, when I'm done drinking my Yogi teas or if I go out to a restaurant and I get like a really, you know, cool quote, do you save them? because I'm that person that will ask you, hey, are you gonna keep your fortune? <laughs> Can I have it? <laughs> um, because I like to stick it inside of my journal, my art journal, and I'm, oops, and I'm actually working on a project right now where I could find use for those. So here I have like this little meditation card that, or a prayer card that a mentor created for me. I love, you know, looking and reading at that when I just need to stay grounded. This is a little DIY or do-it-yourself insert that I created. I only have two writing inserts in here and this is the first one. It's my notes to self. So I just will be scribbling. You know, I have just like some notes and ideas that I've been kind of working on. And then when you flip on the other side, I have my tabs that I'll be keeping for this notebook. I already have some already in place. And this is again the other side of that craft folder. So here, again, another little quote card that I made myself to kind of keep me on path. You know, are you guys, you creators and artists may understand, but um, you know, from the outside looking in, when you come across, you know, like, artists, painters, illustrators, 
singers, you know, what have it, people always think that creators are always full of ideas and they're always motivated and they're just full of, you know, all these creations. But you guys, that's really not the case. Sometimes you just have to wait for that creativity to kind of hit me and that's how I process like sometimes I get frustrated at myself and I think like why can't I think of an idea or a way and then I just really have to learn to quit forcing things that aren't really meant to be and just kind of trust the process and let things flow and that's what I've learned throughout the years um, in my stubborn mind so yeah this is my this is the main reason why I switched back into my passport traveler's notebook full time um full time meaning i will be carrying this around and not playing around with the inserts but this is my new little mini zine if you guys don't know what a zine is it's kind of like a handmade magazine or a little diy a diy booklet that you kind of like print out yourself so you can illustrate or type up your own design you don't need to go to like a publisher and you pretty much it's self-published so it's kind of like my um passion project but you know i'm on number three because i've already created two in the past but you guys this project has been in the works for like um three months and did i mention i'm a procrastinator so yeah i started this booklet to keep me on on board because I am forcing myself to get this done within 100 days. This is like my 100 day project. So, and last but not least, you'll notice I didn't use my binder clip to clip this on like so, like I've done in the past video, because this, you know, I don't really care if it comes in and out. Let me show you. This is kind of like my project calendar, the most important part of this new setup. And I am keeping track of each day that um, passes by and monitoring. Oh, these are my little tarot cards that a girlfriend had gifted me and I just use these. But so right here, so this is the field notes pack, the lunacy pack right here. Um, and they all come in this little you know, not grid, but like dot paper style, which I like just as much as the grid. And I was able to produce this monthly layout where I just kind of document, you know, projects, due dates, things like that. Uh, this has nothing to do with like my work or anything like that. This is, this whole Midori passport is strictly like projects. So it's separated from my other planner tasks each day um, right here. So I created a monthly task spread where I'm going to um, assign myself two to three creative things to do each day. And I have to at least do one or the two things, one to two things. So for example, last week, I for like this is kind of when I started the project, I forced myself to start thinking of my zine cover design. I needed to illustrate page one and two, page three, and I had some other projects kind of that I needed to work on. But I kept, I purposely kept the daily tasks very minimal because I'm the type of person that gets easily overwhelmed. Um, and I think that kind of leads to procrastination when you're kind of overwhelmed. You don't know where to start, so you don't start at all. So knowing, recognizing my weaknesses, I kind of, you know, want to focus on my strengths. I know that I work really well under pressure. So if I pressure myself to get, you know, at least two out of the three things that I have assigned myself, then I am more likely to accomplish those. And here I did check off some of the things that I had to do. The only thing that I'm working on is the cover design because I realize that's not really crucial at this point. I can always decide that last minute and I needed to update my shop with some new uh, craft folders. But 
right here um, I lucked out I had some work training classes that was going to require like an all-day thing so I won't have any free time aside from like eating dinner and going to the gym so I have a two-day break but other than that you guys for 100 days I am going to force myself to create more stop wasting time you know on YouTube social media um, laying around on my bed just looking at the ceiling thinking of projects because that is my flaw I have so many ideas and I journal them all down but I don't act upon that um, or them are you guys like that too I mean I have so 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 many ideas um, so many dreams I'm such a dreamer but my problem is I just get paralyzed and I don't know where to start or my other flaw is I start on them all and then you know it's like they're all done 10% when one could have you know had all of 100% of my focus and been completed so I'm recognizing you know um, my my um, flaws and how I can improve my process but this my little traveler's notebook is so handy to keep in my purse I've been using this like on my lunch break on my 10 minute work break um, you know when I'm just waiting the other day I was at a doctor's appointment so I was just kind of in here um, writing down some ideas in my notes to self instead of you know looking on Facebook or Instagram I'm just trying to refocus my energy into creative works because um, I've been putting these projects off for too long so all right guys just wanted to share that with you and if you know I love like anything pocket size or like passport size you know it's small it's handy it's easy to carry around it's so convenient so um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my setup and i will see you guys in the next video bye